Hi, this is Tim. Today we're going to talk about one-dimensional, two-dimensional, and three-dimensional arrays. In our last video, we hit on our double integer, boolean, integer, and real data types. And we're just going to continue building on this program. And let's use a few different ways to create these arrays. For the first one, let's right-click controller tags and select new tag. And I'm going to call this my array one. And I'm going to leave this as a double integer, but notice that you have this dot, dot, dot beside of it. And we're going to click it, and down at the bottom we have dim zero. And I'm going to put five in there. And notice as soon as I put five, it did highlight dim one and made it available. We're not going to use it. We're just going to click OK and create. And unlike my dit up here, where I can see the value, I just have the dot, dot, dots here, but anytime we see an arrow, we click it, and inside of it, we have five double integers. And let's make sure we understand this. So we do have an arrow by my dent, but this brings up the 32 bits that make up a double integer. In the case of this array, when I'm opening it up, I actually get five double integers. And yes, inside of those, we have another arrow, and these are the bits that make it up. Next, let's create another one, and we're going to do it a different way. We also have the Edit Tag dialog down here. I'm going to select it, and if we notice at the bottom, we have a blank space that we can enter something in. I'm going to enter my array 2. And in the Data Type column, we can change this right now, but we also have that dot, dot, dot dialog. So if we select it, we have the same DIM0 here that we had in the previous one. And I'm going to select 5 again. But for DIM1, I'm going to select 3. And this is going to make a two-dimensional array. We're going to leave DIM2 at a 0. And now I'll hit Enter. That actually creates it. And I'm going to go back to my Monitor tab and open up My Array 2. And we're on My Array 1. We have bracket 0 bracket through bracket 4 bracket. Now we have a two-dimensional coordinate system. So we have 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4. And one reason I made the second dimension different on this one is so we can make sure we understand which one is which. So this right column here is our dim 0 dimension. The left column is our dim 1 dimension. So we have 0 through 4 on the right column here, and then on our next group, we have zero through four. And finally, on our third group, we have zero through four. So we've really made a spreadsheet here that we can store data in. Now let's do a three-dimensional array. Let's go back to the Edit Tags dialog and close up my array one, or make sure they're both compacted so we can see both of them here. Because notice on my dent, our data type is dent, my array one, our data type is dent bracket five bracket, which we did make that a dimension of five. And my array two is dent bracket three comma five, which dim one was three and dim zero was five. This time we're going to type it in. So go ahead and type my array three and go to your dent tab. But instead of hitting our dialog box, just hit bracket. 2 comma 3 comma 5 close bracket enter and so without even bringing up that dialog box if we go back to monitor tags and go to my array 3 we now have a three-dimensional array so we have made a cube so a spreadsheet with we'll say a depth of two right here. We can leverage these arrays to do some really powerful data storage and retrieval systems. Click here and learn how we wrote a game of Simon using this. Till next time.